Hey, well, what marks Big Ten play? Like, what are some characteristics of Big Ten baseball that maybe you don't see as much in the non-conference side? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, well, I've only seen it for one year, um, so you know it's kind of year to year. It's hard to say. Um, I would say physicality uh, in lineups. I think you see uh, a lot of big physical guys that can impact the ball in, in most lineups. Um, you know, and I think just on the mound, you see a lot more below um, than, than maybe what you saw five or six years ago uh, in the league, top to bottom. I think every every single team just has better below on the mound maybe than what they've had in the past. Coach, what was the message to the team um, for this week in the Michigan series? The same as it always is. Um, you know, we got to find a way to, to show up and be consistent. And, uh, you know, it starts with, with our preparation and, and coming out and, and, um, and doing that on the practice field. And uh, this week's been a little unique that way. Um, Monday's a, an off day typically. Um, and we had Monday off, and then Tuesday was a little bit of a lighter day. I mean, we had a really pretty big uh, number of games last week, and some guys are a little nicked up. We got some guys that aren't feeling great, um, you know, and then obviously we had the, the practice day yesterday because of no game. So uh, had a great practice yesterday. Energy was great. Um, you know, just, again, just in baseball, there's going to be ups and downs, and um, you got to find a way to, to just show up and give your best each day, and that, that gives you a chance to be successful and consistently successful. And um, so heads are in the right spot. We'll, we'll have a good practice today and, uh, and be ready to get after it this weekend. So last, last year you really didn't have to change much in your top five, six yeah. in the lineup. I mean, do you feel like you're closer now, now than maybe where you were even a week ago? To, yeah, to... I think so. I, I think we've, um, we've kind of used this preseason time and the non-conference games to see um, – you know how some freshmen were going to do uh, when the lights came on, and defensively, I think we've got a pretty good idea of you know um, who's going to be more reliable than others, especially in the outfield. Um, so we just need our infielders, you know, to kind of step up in general and, and play the way they're capable of playing. But um, yeah, I think so. I think you you know you see some veterans that are starting to you know Bryce Matthews has had a last good ten days offensively, and Cam Chick swinging about better. And I think when they, those guys, you know, Max Anderson, will, he'll he'll get going, and, and Griff's had you know Big Ten Player of the Week last week. So there's your potential top five. Garrett Anglin's been pretty good, and then you're back to you've got your top five pretty well set, and then you can play matchups in the back half. So um, yeah, I do. I think that I think we've got the guys that we kind of the personnel. Um, you know, and then it's just a matter of can we find a consistent leadoff hitter, you know, that can, can get us off to a good start. The the defensive portion of it, I mean, how much does that weigh in when you're <sighs> putting a lineup together? Quite a bit. I mean, um, you know, especially in the outfield. I mean, we, we've got to be able to go run down some of the balls that we haven't gotten to. And um, I think if we, you know, we've got certain personnel that can do that. Um, and, you know, just finding those pieces together at the same time that can do that. Um, that's certainly something that we can't take into account. Do you do anything in the practice or meetings right there? You'll just kind of snap guys back and get them right back and back right when so. yeah, We do a lot of stuff, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's a there's a lot of components that go into it. Um, baseball's such a mental game. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, again, it's a matter of, when you have a, a, a young group of guys, it's just a, trying to convey the message that how important each day is. That um, you know we're not going to be able, capable of playing a certain way on game day if we don't have a consistent mindset. So we're we're talking. You know, you got sports psychology. You've got you got all everything that we need at our at our disposal, and we use all those things and different cues for different guys. We know how different guys learn. I mean, it, there's nothing that no stone stone unturned that way. So um, it'll be fun to just see us get after it. You know, in the conference uh, season, and now that we feel like we've got a a pretty good idea of what we have, um, just kind of roll with that. I feel like you've seen a bump in intensity or competitiveness after what happened on Sunday? Um, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I, I think I had a good practice yesterday, um, but like I said, Monday was off and Tuesday was a pretty light day. So um, I don't want a bump in you know in intensity and effort. I want a consistent, great effort. And so I, I think we had that on Wednesday. Hopefully we'll have that again today. Um, that's what I expect. And, um, you know, that's the point we've got to get to is to where, you know, we don't get up for certain games or certain practices or when the weather's warm or when it's cold or when there's fans or no fans. I mean, we just got to, you know, it's, again, it's, it's a work in progress with this group and, and um, you know, we'll, we'll be ready. Is there a silver lining maybe to not playing <clears throat> yesterday in terms of just getting guys rested and ready for the Well, 
I would have preferred a great weather day that we could go play um, because you want to kind of get that taste out of your mouth from Sunday. And I know our guys are eager to do that too, but does it give us a chance to maybe line our pitching up a little bit better that was kind of screwed around last week? Yeah, I think that, that definitely helps. And um, But we wanted to play, um, you know, but obviously Mother Nature had other ideas. Anything more official on Cal Perry? In this no, season? we'll find something out probably in the next couple of days. Um, he won't be available this weekend, um, unfortunately, but past that, we're, we're not sure yet. What's so, the rotation? Uh, Cody Frank will go Friday, um, and then we'll go uh, Shea on Saturday, McCarville on Sunday. So even with the not being able to play, how, how do they kind of like help you guys in the process of finding, figuring out that leadoff spot? <clears throat> well, <laughs> just kind of kind of combing through some of the numbers and um, <clears throat> just seeing <clears throat> how certain guys are going to fit. You know, and again, I think maybe we have an untraditional one through nine, I don't know that we have a traditional leadoff hitter or a traditional four-hole hitter. It's like, how can we mesh the guys together the best in order to where you can have multiple good at-bats in a row? And that, that's kind of, we've done a lot of deep diving here in the last two or three days to, to try to try to get to that point. What challenge does Michigan <clears throat> present? Here? Yeah, they, they, they've hit some home runs and doubles. Um, they can steal bases. That's something they've always done. Um, you know, their left-hander that's going against us tomorrow night is – at really good numbers, and um, it's going to be tough. Um, and then I think after that, they're trying to decide what they're going to do on Saturday and Sunday. But um, you know, offensively, they can they can score runs in bunches. Is there sort of a almost kind of a reset when you when you turn to Big Ten play? I think so. I, that's kind of what we talked to the team about yesterday at practice. Was hey, we got a whole new season coming up, and you know, if you look at it last year. Um, we would already have been halfway through our season, and we're not even a third of the way through the season right now for the number of games that we've played. So it's a long season, and, and lo most of the guys on this roster just don't – they don't know. They don't know what the 56-game schedule looks like, and it's – we've only played 19 games, you know. I mean, there, there's a lot of season left to go, and, you know, it, it is – it's good to hit the reset button. You've got conference coming up. Coaches can do the same thing. We can figure out, you know, different buttons to push, and, and um, you know, it's just a different mindset. Yeah, on Sunday, how thin were you guys pitching guys on that? <clears throat> um, well, we almost didn't make it through the game. Um, honestly, I, I wasn't going to use any of the, the guys that had thrown on Friday, you know, because they had all thrown 40-plus pitches. So, you know, the Martins were gone and Jokins were gone and, you know, basically all of our higher leverage guys. Um, yeah, so, I mean, McCarville, it was evident in the first inning that, but we weren't in a position where we we're going to be able to make a whole lot of changes in that game, so um, we were we were very thin, and and I, I'm thankful that we didn't have to use Bragg in the game because he had thrown 60 pitches, I guess on that Wednesday, and um, you know he was the one guy that could have stretched it out for us for probably two innings, and that's probably the so the only silver lining of that day is that Braxton kind of got to hit the reset button, and now we've got you know everybody back full strength again. Thanks, coach. Thank you.